Yeah. Hi, Doctor. Hi. Um, uh, about a couple of weeks ago, I talked with you. I have a friend that had um, myalbra, um, uh, myalgia. What is that called? Well, there's fibromyalgia. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and um, she has everything, but we, the amino acid that you said, we don't know how to get that. Where do we get that from? Okay. I think you told me selenium. Vitamin well, selenium, yeah, selenium is, is a mineral. Okay. And how much does your friend weigh? About 125. Okay, Charmaine, what would you do for somebody with fibromyalgia who weighs 125 pounds? What would you do to help support maintenance repair? Well, for those issues, I would uh, get somebody on a healthy brain and heart pack and some extra glucogel and some MSM. Okay, very good. Yeah, Char is exactly correct. It's uh, one... um, of the um, healthy brain and heart packs, one healthy brain and heart packs. I'd also get an extra bottle of selenium so she could take a, a six a day, two at breakfast, two at lunch, two at dinner, get her an extra bottle of the osseo so she can take an ounce twice a day, everything else in that um, healthy brain and heart pack. She could take uh, half a dose of everything twice a day. And then uh, the glucogel, 15 a day, um, five at breakfast, five at lunch, five at dinner, be two large bottles a month, capsules. And then, of course, the MSM, three of those tablets, at breakfast and three dinner time, uh, that's two bottles a month, and they're designed to support and promote maintenance repair of cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, discs between a vertebrae, bone matrix, bone itself. And, of course, fibromyalgia is kind of a cousin to lupus and sarcoidosis and those kind of connective tissue issues. It's absolutely essential to change the diet. What, uh, what dietary changes would you uh, give the, uh, um, uh, Helen's friend, Charmaine, so we can maximize absorption? No wheat, barley, wire, oats, and no fried foods, and no food with any kind of oil in it, no burnt animal fat. There you go. No fried foods, no processed meats with nitrates and nitrites, no deli slices, sandwich meat, sausage, jam, bacon, bologna, salami, pastrami, pepperoni, jerky, no oils, no olive oil, no coconut oil, no margarines, mayonnaise, salad, and cooking oils, no gluten, no wheat, barley, rye, and oats. And uh, that's going to actually... Um, slowly improve by getting on a, a diet like that, restrict all those bad things, will improve the efficiency of absorption of nutrients. And so when your friend takes all these nutrients, at maximum benefit, and uh, that's what it's going to take. It's going to take a little bit of work, but uh, this sort of thing responds very well. But uh, the person who has fibromyalgia or lupus or sarcoidosis needs to be obsessive about avoiding the bad stuff to maximize absorption and reduce inflammation and uh, then also supplement properly. And when I say, when we say give up the wheat, bread, rye, and oats, one of the things that people forget is cross-contamination from people living in the house with them because they use the same washer-dryer, the same food preparation surfaces, same couches, same beds. And then, of course, people forget the, the grain and the gluten in dog food and cat food and bird food and fish food. That's a very common way that people get cross-contamination because the pet sleeps in their lap, they lick their face, they lay on the couches, they sleep in bed with them, and so forth. And so it's very easy to get cross-contaminated from gluten in pet food. And so you really, really, really have to be obsessive about avoiding the bad stuff and be really, really, really obsessive about supplementing with the good stuff. And you cannot out-supplement a bad diet, so you have to do both. You have to get rid of the bad stuff and you have to supplement properly to give your body what it needs so it can actually maintain itself. Your body has the equipment. It has the biological, biochemical Um, and genetic equipment to maintain and repair itself, but it does require uh, raw material and, um, you know, the 60 minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 minutes, 3 fat acids, and 90 essential nutrients to pull it off. Okay, give us a call every couple of weeks. Let us know how your sister-in-law is doing.